Hi everyone. Um, today, carry on review this one. Um, showed you how to fit the um, Mutant Dab car stereo in a car um, a few weeks back. And I've also been asked now if I could do one on the actual set, what it looks like, and the functions and blah blah blah, what it's like. So I'm going to show you it fitted in. Um, and here we are in our car, obviously. Here's the unit in place. Um, you can see it mounted in there. Um, and it's a fairly simple unit, really. We'll eject the front there, and it pops open like so. Uh, and I've got a CD here, so if you've got a CD, you can you can pop it in there, and in she'll go. Um, there's also a space, I've got it in already. This front comes right off. There's an SD card slot just down here. Okay, for the SD card which is in already. I'm not going to bother taking that off. Okay, and, and put it on now. It's going to go to CD play because I've just stuck a CD in. Um, now there's lots of functions on this model. Um, I will just go through all the functions which is done on this mod button over here. Um, I mean, that's obviously going to start to play uh, the CD, but I've got the volume off so I can talk and I won't be covered. Okay, now I'm going to switch to there. Now, first, we get SD play, which is the SD card, so that's another lot of music you can have on there. Um, and then you've got auxiliary input, which is a little jack on the front there. Um, there it is, there, so you can put your iPod and stuff in. Um, I've got a little lead here that I carry on. We use our phone a lot and plug our phone into there because we've got a lot of stuff on there as well. We like so it's another uh, source of music for you if you want to keep on different engineers of music um, we've got that and then you can push it again uh, and you come to BBC Radio 2 which we've got it on that's the FM stereo okay but if you want the dab then you come to this one here now we've got this three dabs um, you see them all coming up there the different stations on this dab one two and three um, I'll go back to there again dab one and swap it over to you because there's dab three um, which is tuned to BBC Radio Devon at the minute um, and you go to dab one um, and you can both go through these and you can also search so you can click on this one here and it will start to find all the stations it will start tuning in to the various dab stations and that's what this uh, signal this um, radio is all about really isn't it the dab I mean that's why we bought it um, but not only that the thing I like about it is not just a dab radio um, but also uh, the fact you've got all these sources of music you've got your CDs which you can have I know say so you could have rock music on um, in mp3 that's quite a lot of music you could have the SD card which is up to 32 gigabyte you could have whatever style of music you want on that um, you could have an SD stick uh, uh, sorry a USB stick which sticks in the front of here there it is there so if you have a nice short one it won't stick out too far okay and you could have obviously another Geron day of music on there um, whatever you want again uh, and you can switch to that and again you'll get another uh, Geronda of music so along with all the dab stations which there are you know there's loads uh, and you can you can channel them all on these various things here once you stick one of these on um, it will load that preset on for you so that when you're on dab one two or three uh, that radio station will be on whatever setting you put it on to uh, another really good thing about this is the equalizer it's very good it's on the end of here uh, you can have flat um, classics and pop and rock um, and they very good you can have the DSP off of course if you want to um, prefer rock myself so I tend to leave it on that one um, also if you switch to this button here you've got your volume which is off at the moment just to show you but you can go through you've got bass again um, you can go up or down on the on the general front there so if you're not happy with the equalizer you still got control again treble one two you know zero um, I have it on two balance left and right and fader front and back so there's a nice little bit of selection there then back to zero uh, you've got usual things traffic announcements and automatic frequency finder um, so quite a few good things on there that I like and, and on to boot it sounds really really good quality as well so it's another really handy thing in the sack that the sound quality is really really good so what, what do you think Jan pretty good pretty <laughs> good I like this because you can change the um one you want and then you preset that's it. right preset it straight down here push that button and it's preset so now gold is on number two on that dab version there well I think it was dab three was it um you can know that you can go there now and you can select that straight on the button there and you'll get that station straight through um so all in all uh quite a good all-rounder and um ticks all the boxes for me the little air reel comes with it as well which is running you will need to plug it in we'll show you where ours is do you want to jump out yeah, and just show show our good friends out there on youtube where the air reel is and we put ours up here we run the wire up here and we've just looped it out the side there and stuck the air reel on you can see that there so it's not too bad we covered ours up inside this bit of bit of um 
well, you know, a bit of cup in the, the door. Rubber, the rubber, rubber cover. The rubber cover. Back and it, when there. you measure our wire there, going round, uh, and it goes down there and drops down behind the panel and comes up behind the back of the stereo and plugs in. So that's about it. That's, um, I think that's about a good good as we know with this particular unit it's the best one i've had to boot um i've had lots of stereos over the years and this is the very best one i've had to boot and it's a very good price um you can buy it uh i've got a link to it on on this particular video you'll see it there you can buy it from my site good price um and i i firmly believe this is very very good viewed for value for money so there did we this are. one have the aerial come with it yes it's had the aerial comes with it as well now don't forget if you buy a stereo that um a, maybe a better make as you'd think pioneer or any of the rest of them sonic they don't come with the aerial you have to pay another 30 pound for the aerial so do bear that in mind when you buy this set it may cost you 69 i think 69 pound i think but you also get the aerial it could be 79 pound i'm not sure but at the present time of speaking when you're watching this, this review but whatever you get the aerial thrown in and that is worth another 30 pound apart from a really really good um, player and don't forget it, it plays mp3s and windows media audio as well files so uh, it does do a nice range of files as well which gets you the quality you want now i think because you can have so many genres uh, on there with different inputs uh, you're well covered and you've got your shuffle which yeah uh, it's another good thing yeah before we go the shuffle um a lot of a lot of um units um have shuffle but every time you turn them off turn your car off and put it back on the shuffle's gone um uh, but not with this the shuffle will stay on so if you push shuffle when you turn your ignition off go away come back the next day your shuffle is still on still shuffling between all the tracks you want if you like that and i, I do that's one good thing um that's never been on a stereo before they always seem to revert back to shuffle off and also one last thing the shuffle is very very good it doesn't keep picking up the same tracks like a lot of them it does pick up lots of different tracks all the time so that's another real good bonus i think we're about there i think so just going back to the area we un the unscrews, unscrews when you yep. put it through the car wash which is oh, great that's another thing yeah it just unscrews so you haven't got to worry about taking it off and chucking it in every time you want to put it for a car wash and um yeah well i think that's about it um hope that covers it for you uh, there is another video as i say on uh, fitting this thing in the car um so i'll put a link up there so you can go and look at that video if you want to see how i've fitted it in the car other than that really good bye don't forget all my videos derrickton 33 and don't forget to subscribe thanks very much for watching